I'm glad you could join us. Go ahead and stab the like button and stick around for the next untold story. Damien Black was no ordinary man. As a third generation vampire hunter, he had learned to navigate the shadowy world that lurked just beneath the surface of the everyday. He walked a path stained by blood and haunted by creatures most believed were the stuff of nightmares. It was the early autumn of 2023 when Damien found himself in the ancient city of Prague, a place where history and horror intertwined like the ivy on its old stone walls. Damien had come to Prague on the trail of a vampire rumored to be centuries old, a creature whispered about in the darkest corners of the vampire hunter community. This vampire, known only as Marana, was said to be exceptionally cunning and brutal, responsible for the disappearance of several hunters who had come before Damien. The city's gothic architecture and dimly lit cobblestone streets provided the perfect backdrop for his hunt. Damien moved through the city with a hunter's grace, his senses attuned to the slightest hint of the supernatural. He wore a long, dark coat that concealed an array of weapons forged from silver and blessed by rites old as the church itself. One chilly evening, as the fog rolled in from the Voltava River, Damien followed a lead to an old quarter of the city, where Marana was rumored to frequent. The streets here were narrower, the shadows deeper. Damien's informant, a nervous, twitchy man who claimed to have seen Marana, described the vampire's lair as being beneath an ancient chapel, now desolate and forgotten. As Damien approached the chapel, the air grew colder, the fog thicker, almost as if the night itself was conspiring to shield its monstrous child. The chapel was decrepit, its once majestic spire now a jagged silhouette against the night sky. The iron gate creaked ominously as he pushed it open, his hand resting on the hilt of a silver dagger. Inside, the chapel was shrouded in darkness, save for the faint light filtering through the broken stained glass. Damien's footsteps echoed among the pews, stirring dust that hadn't been disturbed in decades. His eyes, trained to see in near darkness, scanned the room for signs of the undead. Suddenly, a movement in the shadows caught his attention. A figure, swift and silent as the grave, moved in the periphery of his vision. Damien spun, his dagger ready. There, standing by the altar, was Marana. Her beauty was timeless, her eyes a deep red, glowing faintly in the darkness. Her lips curled into a sinister smile as she spoke, her voice a chilling whisper that seemed to echo off the stone walls. Another hunter, she murmured, her tone mocking. Have you come to try your luck where others have failed? Damien didn't respond with words. Instead, he launched himself at her, his dagger slicing through the air. Marana moved with supernatural speed, dodging his attack with an elegant grace that only centuries of existence could hone. The dance of hunter and vampire began, a ballet macabre between predator and prey, each movement deadly and deliberate. Damien managed to nick Marana's arm, the silver burning her ancient flesh, eliciting a hiss of pain from her lips. But she was far from defeated. As they circled each other, Damien knew he was in the fight of his life. The story of his hunt was far from over, and the night held more secrets yet to be revealed. In the heart of Prague, under the cloak of darkness and fog, the true battle was just beginning. Marana's expression twisted with rage as the scent of her own charred flesh filled the chilly air of the chapel. She lunged forward, her movements a blur, aiming a vicious strike at Damien's throat. But Damien was prepared. Years of training and battles had honed his reflexes to near supernatural sharpness. He parried with his dagger, the silver gleaming in the faint moonlight filtering through the broken windows. The vampire recoiled from the silver, her snarl echoing through the crumbling chapel, mixing with the howl of the wind outside. Damien pressed his advantage, stepping forward with a series of quick thrusts, each parried by Morena with increasing desperation. Her counterattacks became more erratic, her supernatural speed, her only advantage over Damien's relentless assault. As they fought, Damien could feel the weight of history in the chapel, the air thick with the remnants of forgotten prayers and the darkness of past tragedies. The chapel, with its faded frescoes and shattered altar, bore witness to this new battle, a silent testament to the endless war between humans and vampires. Suddenly, Marana disappeared into a shadow, merging with the darkness as if she were part of it. Damien paused, his breath forming clouds in the cold air, 
his eyes scanning the shadows for any sign of movement. A low laugh echoed around him, Marana's voice coming from all directions. You think you can defeat me in my own domain? Her voice was a taunt, a whisper that seemed to come from the walls themselves. Many have tried, Hunter. All have failed. Damien's response was to draw a vial from his coat, a holy relic, water blessed by the first light of Easter morning, potent and deadly to any vampire. He hurled the vial into the air where the voice seemed loudest. It shattered against the chapel's old stone floor, releasing a burst of sanctified water that sizzled as it spread. The effect was instantaneous. Morena materialized with a scream, her form writhing as the holy water burned her skin like acid. She fled from the spreading pool of water, her form a smoky streak as she sought refuge in the upper reaches of the chapel. Breathing heavily, Damien watched her escape upward, knowing this battle was far from over. He needed to end it tonight, or Marana would surely regroup and become even more cautious, possibly disappearing for decades before he could find her again. His gaze fell on the bell tower, a looming silhouette against the cloudy night sky. That would be where she would recover, where she would wait. With grim determination, Damien began to climb the narrow winding stairs to the bell tower. The stairs creaked under his weight, the sound unnaturally loud in the silence that followed the chaotic battle. As he ascended, he prepared himself for the confrontation to come, knowing that the higher ground would be advantageous, but also dangerously confining. At the top of the stairs, Damien paused, listening. The wind whistled through the openings in the tower, but beneath that sound, he could hear her. Breathing, a sound not of this earth, but of something other, something ancient and evil. With every step forward, the air grew colder, the shadows deeper. The story of Damien Black, Vampire Hunter, was reaching a critical moment, high above the streets of Prague, in a battle set against the backdrop of centuries-old stone and the timeless struggle between light and darkness. The final confrontation was imminent, and the outcome would leave its mark on the annals of hunters and the lore of the vampires. As Damien stepped onto the bell tower's landing, the chill air bit into his skin, a stark reminder of the supernatural cold that Marana's presence brought. The space was cramped, filled with the long shadows cast by the moonlight that streamed through the slatted openings. The heavy, ancient bell hung silent above him, its surface etched with the patina of ages. Below it, Marana crouched like a dark queen in her court of shadows, her red eyes glowing with malevolence and pain. You dare follow me here, she hissed, her voice a chilling mix of fury and grudging respect. You are either very brave or very foolish, Hunter. Damien tightened his grip on his silver dagger, the only light in the dim tower coming from the blade's reflective surface. I came here to end this, he replied steadily, his voice echoing slightly in the stone chamber. Marana stood slowly, her form graceful yet menacing. Many have tried, she murmured, her gaze never leaving Damien's face. Yet here I stand. Why should your attempt end any differently? Damien didn't answer with words. Instead, he lunged forward, his movements quick and precise. But Marana was ready for him, her supernatural speed a blur as she dodged to the side, her own nails, sharp as razors, slashing towards him. Damien felt a searing pain as her nails grazed his arm, the cut burning as if poisoned. The close quarters of the bell tower made the fight perilous, each movement calculated to avoid a deadly blow or a fall. They circled each other, Damien trying to find an opening in Marana's defenses, while Marana attempted to wear him down, her attacks relentless. As they battled, the bell began to sway slightly from their movements, its clapper stirring from the motion. The sound was soft at first, a mere whisper of metal against air. But as the fight intensified, so did the movement of the bell, until finally it rang out, a deep, resounding tone that filled the tower and spilled out over the city below. The sound seemed to startle Marana, her focus breaking for a split second. But that second was all Damien needed. He stepped in, his dagger finding its mark, plunging deep into her chest. Marana screamed, a sound not of this world, and the tower trembled with the force of her agony. But instead of collapsing, she reached out, her hand catching Damien's throat, squeezing with a strength that belied her wounded state. Gasping for air, Damien struggled in her grasp, his vision starting to dim. Morena's face was inches from his, her eyes burning into his. 
This is not the end, Hunter, she rasped, her voice fading as the life began to drain from her. There will always be another. Her grip loosened, and Damien, pulling free, watched as her body began to disintegrate, turning to ash that scattered in the wind blowing through the tower. He collapsed to his knees, exhausted and wounded, but alive. The bell continued to toll, a solemn, lonely sound that echoed the end of the battle. Damien looked out over the city, the sky beginning to lighten with the dawn. The story of Damien and Marana might have ended, but the legacy of their encounter would linger, a haunting melody carried on the wind, a reminder that the darkness always waits, just out of sight. The tale was far from over, and Damien knew his fight against the night was not yet done. As the first light of dawn crept over the horizon, Damien sat in the bell tower, his body and spirit weary from the night's ordeal. The pain from the wound Marana had inflicted throbbed in his arm, a stark reminder of the battle's reality. He patched himself up as best he could, the bandage stark against his pale skin, soaked with both his blood and Marana's venomous legacy. Leaving the bell tower, Damien descended the spiraling staircase with a heavy heart, each step resonating with the echo of Marana's final words. The fight had ended, but the war, the eternal struggle against the darkness, was far from over. As he stepped outside, the chilly morning air hit him, clearing his head and sharpening his resolve. Walking through the quiet streets of Prague, Damien felt the weight of centuries of hunters before him, each carrying their own tales of horror and heroism. The city was waking up, unaware of the supernatural battle that had taken place just hours before. People went about their morning routines, and the normalcy of it all seemed surreal to Damien. But there was little time to dwell on these thoughts. His phone vibrated in his pocket, a message from his contact in the Vampire Hunter network. The text was brief. New activity reported in Vienna. Your expertise needed urgently. The life of a hunter was relentless, and Damien knew his respite would be short. With a deep sigh, he made his way to the train station, his steps automatic. As the countryside sped by the train window, Damien reflected on his lineage, on the legacy of hunters he belonged to. Each city had its shadows, each shadow hid its monsters, and each monster awaited a hunter. Arriving in Vienna, Damien felt the familiar surge of adrenaline, the hunter's instinct that never quite let him rest. Vienna was a city rich in history and art, but like Prague, it had its darker sides, its own legends whispered in hushed tones by those who believed in the things that lurked in the night. Damien wasted no time, heading straight to the meeting point, an old cafe near the heart of the city known for its discretion and clientele who preferred the shadows to the light. His contact was already there, a young woman named Elise, her eyes bright with both fear and determination. Thank you for coming so quickly, she said as he sat down. We've had reports of a new coven, aggressive and reckless. They've already claimed three victims this week. Damien nodded, processing the information. Do we have any leads on their lair? Elise slid a folder across the table. We've narrowed it down to a few locations. They're clever, using the catacombs beneath the city to move unseen. Taking the folder, Damien felt the familiar pull of the hunt, the drive to protect the innocent from the horrors of the night. He looked through the documents, each page detailing the coven's activities and potential hideouts. The story of Damien Black, Vampire Hunter, was far from over. As he prepared to delve into Vienna's underworld, the catacombs promising a maze of dangers, he knew this chapter was just beginning. With each vampire he faced, with each shadow he stepped into, Damien walked a line between life and death, a line he had walked since the day he took up the hunter's mantle. As night fell over Vienna, Damien made his way to the entrance of the catacombs, guided by the information Elise had provided. The air grew cooler as he descended into the depths, the musty smell of damp earth and ancient stones surrounding him. His flashlight cut a narrow path through the darkness, the shadows around him seeming to shift and move with a life of their own. The catacombs were a labyrinth, a network of tunnels that sprawled beneath the city like the roots of a vast, dark tree. Damien moved carefully, aware of the dangers that the tight, winding passages could conceal. He could hear the faint, echoing sounds that might have been water dripping or the soft, scurrying steps of rats or something else. As he ventured deeper, the oppressive atmosphere of the catacombs seemed to weigh on him. The silence punctuated only by his own steady breathing and the occasional distant echo of movement. 
Damien kept his senses alert for any sign of the Vampire Coven. According to the intelligence gathered by Elise, the vampires were using one of the deeper chambers as their lair. After navigating through a series of particularly narrow passageways, Damien entered a larger open area. The beams of his flashlight briefly illuminated ancient carvings on the walls, depictions of grim, haunting faces that seemed to stare back at him from the past. It was here that the air shifted, growing colder, a sign that he was not alone. Suddenly, a whisper echoed through the chamber, a hiss that seemed to come from all directions. Hunter, it called, a voice as chilling as the air around him. Damien spun around, his silver dagger in hand, searching for the source. Then they came at him from the shadows, fast, furious, a blur of movement. The vampires of the coven, their eyes glowing with a malevolent red light, their fangs bared. Damien fought with all the skill and ferocity that years of training had instilled in him. He managed to wound one, silver meeting flesh with a sizzle and a scream of agony from the vampire. But they were many, and he was one, and their movements were choreographed with centuries of hunting together. They circled him, strikes coming from all sides, relentless in their assault. In a moment of overwhelming odds, Damien realized he might not win this fight. The chamber seemed to close in around him, the carvings on the walls bearing witness to his struggle. With a desperate effort, he threw a vial of holy water into the air, shattering it against the ceiling. The blessed water rained down, causing screams and chaos among the vampires. But as the water cleared, the grim realization set in. The leader of the coven, a towering figure with eyes as black as the catacomb depths, advanced on him. This vampire moved with a grace and power that spoke of age and authority. Damien's back hit the wall, his options and space running out. The vampire leader halted just inches away from him, its face coming close to his. You cannot hunt forever, Damien Black, it whispered, its voice a cold promise. One day the shadows will claim you. And with that, it struck, a blow swift and sharp, not to kill, but to incapacitate. Damien's world went dark as he slumped to the ground the sound of his own heartbeat thundering in his ears. The vampire's prediction rang true. When Damien's eyes finally opened again, the vampires were gone, leaving him alone in the dark, the weight of his lineage and the haunting words of the vampire echoing in the cold stone chamber. The hunt was over, but the war continued, and Damien's story, a tale of shadows, blood, and the unending fight against darkness, would linger in the silence of the catacombs waiting for the next hunter to dare walk the paths that he had trodden. Thank you for listening. Now watch this video, 